Introducing Diana Baby 110. Don't come. This is really giving SNL. LOL. Um, I would just like to talk about the different films that I used. I used three, and I know I have four posters up here, but that's because I can't remember what the last one was because I used this two years ago. So, my first one is Peacock Slide 110 with the ISO of 200. I'm not sure what the ISO means. I'm not a professional photographer but I just wanted to include the whole title so my next one was black and white orca with an ISO 100 and then my last one which like I mentioned I don't remember clearly is either it was either Loma Chrome purple 110 with the ISO 100 or 400 or the Loma Chrome Metropolis with the ISO of 100 or 400 as well so they're both, I wouldn't say they were similar, but I have photos that ended up looking like they belong in either or categories, so like I said, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did i really love how my photos came out and i just i just love how analog photography looks preferred to digital which is ironic because obviously this is digital photography at its finest but yeah hope you have a great rest of your day and that you enjoyed this video thank you Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this little camera. So this is called the Baby Diana Baby 110 film camera by Lomography. It's super tiny. Literally, you can take it anywhere. That's what I really love about it. So when I bought it, it came with two different angles. I mean, lenses. So the one that I currently have on is one. 
is 12 milliliters wide angle and then this one that i used to have on is a 24 milliliter this is just the back of the of the camera got the little lomography logo on right there and then the covers of the angles feature the little diana baby 110 if only you can see it there we go so right here is where you would essentially just put it down take the camera take the photo right here is where you would attach the flash that i currently do not have but that's okay back here is where you would put the film cartridge the then you just move this put it in there i currently do not have any film so i can't show that part but that's okay and then when you put it in close it and then you're ready to shoot and let's see if i can show you so when i first got this camera i didn't realize the different angle <laughs> the, the angles and like where you're supposed to look so you see that little square for the 24 you're supposed to look through it and then that's where you're that's where you're going to be shooting or whatever you're trying to take and i was looking at all the board like the whole thing which is what you're supposed to do with the 12 and so some of my photos came out pretty bad and blurry um that's okay we're learning um i really really love this right here i just really like fonts and colors and graphics so i like this part and yeah i highly recommend this camera i think it's so cute and the 110 just it looks absolutely beautiful honestly and even though i got some really blurry photos i think they look beautiful still and yeah